Hello friend, welcome in the 30 days of code in Hakare. So today is the day 27 and today we solve the problem about testing. So the problem statement is your company need a function that meets the following requirement. For a given array of n integers, the function returns the index of the element with minimum value in the array. If there is more than one element with the minimum value, then returned index should smallest one. So this is the one requirement and the second one is if the empty array is passed to this function, it should raise an exception. So these two are the requirements of this function and then here is the implementation of this requirement is written in python code and other language can be found in the code template so i simply go through this python code here is the minimum index function and it passed the sequence and if the length of the s eq equal to zero that means the array is empty and this in this situation you have to raise a exception and then we initialize minimum index equal to zero and then make a loop and every element in the array we check if this element is less than the minimum index or not if it is less than then minimum index is update to the i and then finally return the minimum index so this is the function that fulfill this two requirements so i think you understand so now go to the next so i do not read this all things i simply go through this three bullet point and this three bullet point describe all these things so get array method in the class space data empty array has written an empty array so these three things you have to write in your hacker rank code editor so that's why read this three bullet point very careful to solve this problem so now get array method in the class test data empty array has written an empty array so that means in test data empty array class the get array function simply return an empty array so this is the first bullet point then get array method in the class test data unique value has returned an array of at last two with all unique element in the test data unique value class the get fun get array function simply return an array whose size is at last two and the array contains all unique element and then the get expected result function in the same class that means the test data unique value class return the expected minimum value index of this array so that means get expected result return the minimum value index for this array so i think you understand and when i write the code for this class you definitely understand how to solve this so now go to number three bullet point so get array method in class test data exactly two different minimum has written an array where there are exactly two different minimum values so now the ts data exactly two different minimum class have also contain and get array function and this function simply return an array where there are exactly two different minimum values while method get expected result of this class has to return the expected minimum value index for this array so get expected result simply return the expected minimum value index for the array so this get expected result and this get expected result function will do the same thing they simply return the minimum value index of the array now for this problem i select c++ because here no choice to select c program so that's why i select c++ so now i simply click this three dot and then i click this three dot also to expand some code here simply three function are present test 
with empty array and test with unique values and here the test with exactly two different minimums so three functions are present so first function simply test your first class result and second function simply test your second function second class result and this third function simply check the third class result and if one of these three function fail then you do not pass any test cases that means here the ok do not print in the output screen so now i simply go through my three function which i have to complete for solving this problem i think if i click switch to full screen layout this is definitely help me because i simply follow from this bullet point to this class so that's why the first get array method in class test data empty array so you can see that it is a test data empty array class and inside of this the get array function so inside get array function you simply return an empty array so to complete this function i simply declare an vector array i make it integer array and name it simply v and it is the empty array and then return v so the first task is done so now i go to the second bullet point to complete this second task so here the test data unique values here is the test data unique values class and it has returned an array of size at last 2 with all unique element so that means it simply return an array which have two or more element and all the values that means all the element are unique so i simply complete this function by again declaring another vector array and again i name it v and i simply initialize some value inside of this vector array so here is the restriction that at last two element are present inside of this vector and all the value are unique so i simply initialize three variable and i simply name it 1 2 and 3 so now return this array so that's why i simply write return v so now the method get expected result of this class has returned the expected minimum value index for this array so that means it simply return the minimum value index of this array so what is the minimum value of this array so this is 1 and the index of this first element of this array is 0 so that's why i simply return 0 now i simply go to this third bullet point so here the test exactly two different minimum class is present and inside of this again the get array function is present so to complete this get array function you have to simply read this instruction so get array method in this class has to return an array where there are exactly two different minimum values so i simply copy this code because same syntax and then paste it so what is the minimum value of this v array so this is one so i simply put another one inside of this array and then return v so now finally get expected result simply return the minimum value index of this array so what is the minimum value index so the minimum element is one but here two minimum element is present so now i go to this first instruction if there is more than one element with the minimum value then return the index to its smallest one so that means which index is smallest between this 0 and 1 because the index of this two element is 0 and 1 so 0 is the smallest one so that's why i simply return 0 and it is not necessary that you simply copy this element into this array you simply experiment with this element you can put different element and different minimum values inside of this array but you simply return the minimum value index inside of this get expected result so now i simply click the run code to check my code so sample test case 0 is passed and here's the output is okay 
so that means so the test function inside of this predefined code of hacker rank simply test your classes and when they found that three classes are fulfill their requirement they simply print the ok in the output screen and when ok is printed in the output that means your code is done and if you have any doubt please go to the comment section and comment me i definitely try to solve your doubt so now i simply click submit code but unfortunately here is the test case zero that means we simply test the same test case again so this is for the day 27 see you in the next video thank you friend goodbye